Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 31st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can control the position of elements using CSS. So for this tutorial I have created a file that's called positioning.html and in this file in the style section you can see that I have applied a few rules to the div element and uh, I've used uh, a property called position which uh, doesn't have a value as of now and then uh, there are two other properties left and top which are supposed to you know uh, place gaps in the page and uh, you know we'll understand this in just a moment and inside the body section of this document I have an h1 level heading which has the text the coolest tutorials on the internet and then uh, inside the div element I have an image uh, of my channel which is tbt.jpg that's the name of the file and I've used the img tag to insert this image in the web page so when I see this file in my browser just the way it is right now this is how it looks we have the heading the coolest tutorials on the internet and then I have my you know channel image and this is uh, the first channel image that I used and you know I created this in paint because at that time I didn't know how to use uh, Photoshop I still suck at it but uh, anyway you know since this is the first one that I made uh, I kind of like it and uh, uh, coming back to positioning uh, the position property can take uh, you know multiple values the ones that we are going to see in this tutorial are uh, fixed and relative so if you would type fixed for position then what will happen is you would have a gap of 300 pixels from the left and 300 pixels from the top irrespective of whatever text image or link or any other thing you have uh, in your uh, web page before your div uh, tags right so in this case in the div tags I have the image but before the div tags I have an h1 level heading but this is not going to make a difference uh, we are always going to have a gap of 300 pixels from the left and 300 pixels from the top and uh, to illustrate this when I refresh the page you see that the image shifts now so you know we have a gap of 300 pixels from the top and 300 pixels from the left whereas if you would use the value uh, relative here what will happen is uh, you know your browser is going to see all that precedes your div tags and uh, if you have a heading or a paragraph that contains some text or links or an image you know it could be another image or it could also be another div tag then it's going to calculate uh, you know the gap that it has to insert uh, relative to the elements that it finds before your uh, you know div tags the ones to which uh, you want to apply this particular property so if I would save this file and refresh it in my browser you can now see that the image further shifts down that's because we have uh, a gap of 300 pixels from the heading now and not you know from uh, the top of the page and uh, this would be more obvious probably you know if you have more text uh, not just one heading but a couple of headings or you know an entire paragraph of text and you could see that the image shifts down considerably whereas from the left still uh, since there is nothing that it has uh, here nothing that the browser has found here the gap remains the same which is 300 pixels right so that's that's about uh, controlling positions of elements in CSS I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and I hope you found uh, this useful you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video till then take care